He was in Oklahoma City when he got the call. There was a mass shooting inside of his church. Frank Pomeroy jumped into his car and headed south, knowing his daughter was in one of the pews that morning, and his wife was headed that way. He calls it the longest 12 hours of his life. Tomorrow marks one year since the shooting at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs. And tonight, Pastor Frank Pomeroy and his wife Sherry sit down with KSAT 12 Steve Spreester to talk about what was lost that day, how they're trying to move on, even as some re-victimize the survivors. I tell people that first two to three weeks, to be quite honest with you, my, I don't really remember a whole lot. I know that I functioned. I know that I did what I needed to do. But my focus was on just trying to keep people's head above water. In front of the church, in front of the church, we have six ambushes in route. An anniversary marked with tragedy, tears, and ultimately triumph. I think that it'll be a sense of a a victory for the Lord that we are still standing. Pastor Frank Pomeroy and his wife Sherry have carried on in a moment of immense tragedy. 26 members of their church family gunned down during Sunday morning worship, including their own daughter, who they adopted at the age of two. Talk about Annabelle. What kind of girl was she? She, she was our... She was just, she was our, she was our baby girl. She was a hugger. She loved everybody. And the first thing she would do is run to you and you had to brace your legs because she was going to hug you fiercely. Annabelle Pomeroy's seat is still marked in the First Baptist Church's old sanctuary that's now a memorial. This makeshift sanctuary is where the Pomeroys will mark one year as the congregation waits for their new church building to be completed. Hopefully we won't have a lot of time for tears. I'm going to have to focus on the good. How do you think you've changed? How do you think Sutherland Springs has changed? The community has come together a lot stronger, and in so doing for myself, I tend to live for the day more than I did before. I've always preached that you can't change yesterday, and tomorrow's not uh, a sure thing, but you can live for the now. But now I truly grasp it. A week before, it was just a little church out in the woods. We came back and saw it as a battlefield. And now we're seeing it come around full circle as a light to the world. The walls of the sanctuary have gone up here, but cast a shadow on the 26 crosses that signify the people that were lost. It's been a year of change and also challenges in Sutherland Springs, including for the Pomeroys, who on almost a weekly basis find themselves almost re-victimized by people who insist the Sutherland Springs shooting never really happened and that their daughter Annabelle never existed. You've had people come up to you and say your daughter did not exist. He was screaming, yes, they hollering at me to produce birth certificates and death certificates and and that she never existed, and that, um, that I was a traitor to the country, and, and all kinds of stuff um, it is ridiculous. Police reports have been filed, arrests made, but the harassment of survivors continues. Just the latest obstacle in moving past what happened here. But the Pomeroys say move past that tragic day they must. The church is still growing, and the South Texas community has rallied around this small town. And as the brick and mortar rises next to the crosses and the faded pictures, a pastor and his wife since rebirth. So when you look at the building there, to me it is still God's blessing saying that those 26 that passed away, their blood's not in vain because there's revival. The evil did not win. Because if we let evil win, if we let fear take over, if we let sadness take over, then all of the lives, the 26 that we lost, are in vain. Amen. If we let love win instead of evil, then their lives had a purpose. Absolutely. That was our Steve Spreester reporting. Sherry Pomeroy tells Steve's this anniversary will be bittersweet. The church has formed a safety response team since the shooting and designed its new sanctuary to have safety features their old church did not.